hi there, it's Stephanie. I just wanted to do a quick screener today, uh, one more today, uh, in response to David Anderson's screener where he showed how to embed four different videos on a single slide in PowerPoint. Now he used the web object feature in Articulate to do that and had created an HTML page external to PowerPoint that contained the four videos. And that's a cool way to use the web object feature and probably gives a little bit more control over the videos. Each video itself would have its own playback controls and they could run independent or all together. Conceivably all four of those videos could be playing at once. So there are some benefits to that approach. Now what I've done though is a slightly different approach just as another option. So you can see here that slide number one has all the four videos on the slide. Now basically these are just still images. I've captured one frame from each of the four videos, brought it into PowerPoint as a picture, added a drop shadow, added a play button on top of each, and then I just hyperlinked basically the play button and the image to the slide in the presentation that plays that particular video. So for the upper left um, video, it's slide number two that plays that. For the upper right video, it's slide number three, and so on. So let me show you how it works. If I click the play button on any of the videos, but I've done it for the upper left video, it moves me over to slide number two and plays that video. You can see that there's also a replay button here that I've added in that once the video stops or at any point during the video playback, you can click replay to start from the beginning again. So I just click replay and it just brings that video back in. I can then use the articulate controls down at the bottom to pause or I can kind of scrub forward and backward through the video. So I have com complete control over the video that's playing. Now if I want to look at one of the other videos, I can just click on that play button. So let's go over here, lower right. You can see that that's jumping to slide number five. That's a slide that contains a video that's playing. I can replay it. I can pause. I can jump over to another video. Pause, and then I can jump over to the final video. So I can go in any order that I wish and have complete control over the playback of each of those videos. So let me show you how I did this in PowerPoint. I'm just going to pop over. This is the slide deck that I'm using. There's a total of five slides. So the first slide is a bit of a menu slide. This is where it has the four still images and the hyperlinks. So you can see if I just look at the very first one here, I have a hyperlink that's going to slide number two playing that first video. And this one here is hyperlinking to slide number three, which is playing the second video and so on. So if I just look at that, I'll pop over to slide number two. You can see the video is here. Now to place the video in, I just went to the articulate menu. I chose the flash movie option. I grabbed the movie that I was interested in bringing in. And um, I'm going to just cancel out of that. And then I also made sure that it was synchronized with slide and that it, uh, that it didn't uh, proceed until the user clicked next. Those two options I set when I actually imported the video in. And then I sized it so it fit nicely on my screen and then I added in a replay button which is just a graphic and this graphic has a hyperlink that goes to the current slide. So I'm on slide number two, the hyperlink goes to slide number two. In essence it restarts the slide which replays the video from the beginning. And I repeated that process for each one of the, the uh, videos. So here's slide uh, video number two, video number three, and video number four. Now I also uh, worked with the articulate slide properties just to make sure that nothing was moving automatically because you want the user to control each one of these slides so they pick the, the uh, movie that plays back. So I just made sure that the advance was all set to by user. And that's how I created the effect. So just another option to consider if you have multiple videos on a single slide within PowerPoint and Articulate.